Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to part 2 of episode 28 and still to come in this part a huge tag team matchup but how the hell are AJ Styles and CM Punk get along? They're gonna have to in this matchup they team up to take on the team of Kevin Nash and the Big Show and guess what the commissioner made it for the NLW tag team titles Styles and Punk two enemies could be walking out here tonight as our new tag team champions but here's a man who in recent weeks has established himself as someone who should be a champion he has never been pinned never been submitted in NLW and last week on our cross line special Kurt Angle made another open challenge for our next pay-per-view sacrifice and it was answered by none other than the man who has been on a five month hiatus Shawn Michaels Shawn Michaels is back and he's going to challenge Kurt Angle and try and end his unbeaten run at sacrifice Kurt Angle has beaten John Cena Mr. Anderson and AJ Styles to name a few but what's he got to say to Sean? I heard you talking about the championship match and I have to admit that I was a little bit upset that you picked it instead of me So I came out here to clarify something. As you already know, I defeated John Cena. I faced the champion. Well, Sean, Kurt Angle didn't even get to finish off what he was going to say. Shawn Michaels rudely interrupting the Olympic gold medalist here. And what has Shawn Michaels got to say to Mr. Angle? He returned last week for the first time since Hell in a Cell where he was thrown off the top of the cage. But Shawn Michaels is back here tonight. He was back last week and this past week on Metal he cemented why he should be in this company. And he built momentum heading into Sacrifice this past week on Metal when he defeated our truth Our truth put up a hell of a fight but in the end of the day Shawn Michaels was the one who came out with the victory. So with that in mind, he has competed, he has shaken off the ring rust and he's probably ready to face Kurt Angle at Sacrifice. But can he, um, can he beat him? That's the question, what's he got to say now? Hold on a second money bags, I just wanna, I wanna clear something up here. Let me get this straight, you're giving the Olympic guy all the championship matches? And, and if I understand correctly, it's because he was victorious, clarify it, if that's what would put one in line for a championship match, I want a title match. And you obviously forgot something else. Something much more important to you. Massive fan support here tonight. Okay? I want each and every one of you to hear this. Remember WrestleMania? Because I made your ass tap out. Oh, WrestleMania 21. <laughs> uh, I remember WrestleMania. I was there. I was there. But do you remember Vengeance? 2005, how did it you as well? Dean Sweet Chin Music, HBK's hand, raised in victory. We're even, Stephen. Now I'm WWE. Beat you, first. Oh, 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 you beat me first. Is it's that a game for getting a player? Yeah, I'll play oh, games. Man, you want to play games? I'll play games. Uh, for you you want to lose to me? You're on. Well, obviously referencing the WWE days where they faced off many times in many great matches but they're in NLW now and in NLW Kurt Angle has never been pinned or submitted he wants to shake the hand of Michaels and he does so a sign of respect perhaps but also a sense of keeping your friends close and your enemies closer 
Shawn Michaels is not Kurt Angle's friend, there's no doubt about that. They are not friends. They are not enemies though. But both men will do anything it takes to beat each other at sacrifice and Shawn Michaels wants to be the first man to beat Kurt Angle. And a number of other matches are going to be announced for Sacrifice live here tonight. And speaking of Sacrifice, who's going to be the X Division Champion heading into that event? We're going to find out right now because we have ourselves an X Division Championship matchup. And about to make his way to the ring, you hear the reception for this guy. Last week put on one hell of a performance in an X Division Battle Royal on our cross the line special to crown a new X Division Champion. Of course, he did come up short unfortunately for him. However, he did come third and he put on a hell of a show. Eliminating several competitors from the matchup, he came third overall. But ultimately, it was won by Austin Aries, and tonight he's getting the opportunity that perhaps R Truth feels he should have. If you remember episode 14 of Metal, R Truth went to the commissioner and asked for a title matchup, but instead it was given to Kofi Kingston. And Kofi Kingston obviously was not successful. But this is a man who has been hell of a successful ever since his debut at the start of the year. Here he is about to make his way to the ring, the new X Division Champion, Austin Aries. Last week on our Cross the Line Special, he successfully fended off several challengers and last eliminated our troop with a brain buster on the apron to win the X Division Championship and etch his name into history as the first ever NLW X Division Champion, Austin Aries. He also managed to sex flipping successfully defend that title this past week on Metal where he defeated Kofi Kingston but tonight he has his second title defense against Billy Kidman, the man who debuted last week. And this is about fast paced, high flying action, no limits. That is what the X Division is all about and that is what NLW is all about in Austin Aries second title defense in fact there is one man who has been sort of overlooked for a challenge and as we've mentioned that man is our truth and now look at Kidman here with a Harukurana sends Austin Aries outside the ring and Austin Aries has got to be wary of Kidman's style, style and stance as he's caught out there and a Russian leg sweep into the ring apron well going back to our truth this past week on metal he asked the commissioner for an X Division title matchup, which was ultimately given to Kofi Kingston. And you've got to be wondering, when is our truth going to get his X Division title match? He certainly deserves it. He put on a hell of a show last week in our Battle Royal, but when is he going to get his shot? Austin Aries with his submission maneuver, but now Kidman with the right to the eyes and now managing to break up that hold. Both of these men very similar in styles. Both are accomplished around the world and both are arguably veterans of our sport. But now, look at this. Oh my goodness. A massive drop kick in the corner by Austin Aries. And now another power slam. Here's a cover. And Kidman kicks out in this X Division title matchup. Is this reign going to be a short one for Austin Aries? Can he successfully defend his title here tonight? There's a punch by Aries. But Kidman back up with a drop kick. And right connecting right to the side of the head. Austin Aries in his debut match up here in the company defeated Randy Orton and Randy Orton of course as we know is going to go one on one with Sting later tonight our world champion and here we go Kidman starting to build up momentum with that net breaker and now Austin Aries is in a heap of trouble oh my lord that massive drop kick right into the corner and Kidman his finishing maneuver is the 450 splash and he looks as if he's going to try and put him away but oh my goodness did you see the way his neck snapped back into the mat and the way he went head first into the canvas Austin Aries now wants to go after Kidman here and Billy Kidman is in trouble he's clobbered into that 
corner turnbuckle and now what is Austin Aries thinking springboard 450 he is on fire and the momentum is going Aries way can Kidman get back into this when he tries with a kick to the stomach it's caught up in an insiguri insiguri connects with a sickening thud to the side of the skull and now Kidman wants to end it all he wants to hit that shooting star press that has put away many in the past goes for it but he's caught out by Aries and now he's won through and the win for Austin Aries I thought for a minute that we were going to have a new X Division champion in Billy Kidman but it wasn't meant to be and there you see the sportsmanship shown 450 reversed into a pin in combination and oh wait a minute oh what the hell's this Aries rammed into the steps and oh my the lie detector on the championship belt and we mentioned our truth earlier but what the hell is he doing out here at the conclusion of this matchup just laying waste to these competitors and well our truth is one hell of a pissed off man there's no doubt about it and if you saw metal you'd understand why he was denied an X Division title matchup so he's gonna try and force one he certainly got the entire NLW locker room's attention and he certainly got the commissioner's attention with this symbolizing he wants the X Division title there's no doubt about it as he rammed Austin Aries into the steel steps and hit a lie detector on Billy Kidman on the X Division title belt our truth is not happy he came so close he was second in that battle royal ultimately eliminated by Austin Aries but he has made a statement here tonight that he wants to be the X Division champion and he wants his title shot as soon as possible our truth has caught the ire of both Kidman and Austin Aries and he has staked his claim for an X Division title matchup when will he get it who knows but speaking of title matches up next is going to be for the NLW tag team titles the enemy team of AJ Styles and CM Punk who obviously are going to go up against each other for the money in the bank briefcase at sacrifice they're going to actually challenge for the tag team titles against Nash and the Big Show Nash and the Big Show won those tag team titles last week in a three-way tag team contest defeating the Brood and Charo and Hernandez but they didn't stop there they went on and later in the night attacked Billy Kidman as you've just seen and Rey Mysterio who'd returned after a year out of injury we know that they've hinted at some sort of NWO reunion in the past couple weeks and with the tag team titles they can certainly persevere with that plan but up next how are AJ Styles and CM Punk going to get along against these two monsters and along with that whether they like it or not AJ Styles and CM Punk are going to have to get along if they've got any chance in this tag team matchup and they've got to survive basically because the team they're going up against is vicious and that is why they're the NLW tag team champions and here, here, the frosty reception for Mr. Money in the Bank, AJ Styles, the self-proclaimed future of NLW. And it's hard to argue with that fact, considering he has all the power in his hands. He can cash that briefcase in at any time he wants. He won it back in May at WrestleMania, and he has yet to cash it in. We don't know when he's going to cash it in, but the fact of the matter is... He may not even be able to cash it in. Because that's a sacrifice. The commissioner's made it. AJ Styles going up against CM Punk. And he has put AJ Styles money in the bank briefcase on the line. So after sacrifice, we may have a new Mr. Money in the Bank. CM Punk at sacrifice could very well beat AJ Styles and win the money in the bank briefcase. And that is something that AJ Styles fears and that AJ Styles does not want to happen they are mortal enemies there is no doubt about it it's been well known for weeks that these two men want to get their hands on each other and last week a vicious attack with the briefcase cost CM Punk the Intercontinental title and as you saw at the start of the program it was a vicious assault with that briefcase he wedged CM Punk's head between the briefcase and stamped on it emphatically making him bleed and sending a clear message but tonight at least we assume that they've agreed to get along on the same page but only for one night 
because they have a bigger problem in the form of these two giants, these two monsters, Kevin Nash and The Big Show. These two men have been on a roll since last week. They won the NLW Tag Team titles, as we said, in a freeway tag team contest. Chubb and Guerrero and Hernandez want their rematch at some point. We don't know when it's happening, but look at CM Punk already diving at the champions and already AJ with a dive over the ropes. He may not be very popular, but he certainly, the fans can't deny he's one of the greatest in this ring. And it's almost a game of one-upsmanship here. CM Punk caught out. Well, we're going to take a look back at this replay anyway. We'll take a look. He was caught out by Nash and Show, and then AJ Styles diving over the ropes to signify the start of this NLW tag team title matchup. And although AJ Styles has got to be wary of CM Punk, he's obviously going to want him to be hurting after this matchup, considering... CM Punk is going to go one-on-one -on -one with AJ Styles at Sacrifice with the Money in the Bank briefcase on the line. But tonight, they could very well be leaving as our new tag team champions. It remains to be seen, but... And there you see AJ Styles already getting under the stick skin of Punk with a blind tag, and now Kevin Nash tags in the big show. And AJ Styles wants out again, but CM Punk says, you tagged yourself in, you got to deal with it. And the seven-foot-tall, world's largest athlete going to work on Styles now with a headlock and now Styles going to try and get behind with that wrist lock, arm lock and now literally just shoves him to the floor like a cruiserweight and now he's sent into the ropes again manages to dodge it that time Big Show goes chest first into the top turnbuckle and I'm sure that he's not going to appreciate that slap by AJ Styles but there you see running right into the boot of Punk and these two these two enemies surprisingly working together quite well in this early part of this matchup, and what a roundhouse by CM Punk. He is a very well-versed technical wrestler, as we know, and you see the way he's caught out Kevin Nash now, and he's got him hooked under the chin, and he may very well make one half of the NLW Tag Team Champions tap out, and we could be, we could be leaving here tonight with some pretty weird combination of Tag Team Champions. They may be enemies, but they're working well together. There's a double DDT by Punk and Styles. These two men are obviously, they used to be great friends on the indies. Here's a moonsault by Styles. They used to be great friends for years before they came to NLW. And recently, AJ Styles has really gotten under the skin of CM Punk. And now there's a massive boot by Nash. Going to try and make the tag, and he does. Gets the Big Show in now. CM Punk and the Big Show are the legal men. And now Big Show with two massive hands, two massive fists, I should say, clobbering over the face of CM Punk. And what a transformation it's been for Big Show over the past few weeks. He used to be the fun-loving giant that all the kids and families used to love, but now he's taking a much more darker turn. Taking a much more darker turn. It's no doubt about it. And AJ Styles went for the drop kick, but it didn't even lift the Big Show off his feet and now he's sent into the post by Kevin Nash and a cheap kick to the stomach sends him back in and we know for a fact that the Big Show can be damaging that massive headbutt by Show he has all power here tonight and one half of the tag team champions looks for the challenge but he catches up CM Punk's aerial offense and slams him to the mat they're obviously not very popular oh, and they see of course that's legal Kevin Nash is choking the Life out of CM Punk right in front of the referee's eyes. And AJ Styles is going to want to get the tag in. He may not like CM Punk, but there's no doubt he wants to be a champion. And tonight it could very well happen. But there's a massive knee to prevent that from happening by Kevin Nash. And now the Big Show's back in. And now he's got him throttled by the throat. He's got him throttled by the throat, but there's a massive super kick by AJ. And now he's diving at him with a DDT. Tornado DDT by Styles, And it looks as if Kevin Nash and the Big Show are on the back foot now. CM Punk wants to make the tag to AJ Styles, but there's a tag by Nash and he's back in here. And a roundhouse kick by CM Punk again. Right to the skull, that may have knocked him out. And AJ Styles, he still wants the tag, but Punk has other ideas. Punk's on the apron now. I know we're going to see some aerial offense. Yes, we are. Springboard elbow to the face of Nash. And now he's working on him. 
The momentum is building for CM Punk following the netbreaker. Kevin Nash is hung up against the ropes and there's a knee to the face and now that patented bulldog of CM Punk. Styles desperately wants to tag. He feels that CM Punk has taken too much punishment and he has, in all honesty, but he wants to go to the top rope. AJ Styles isn't happy about that. He wants to get into this matchup. But Punk is on the top and the Randy Savage-like elbow to the heart of Nash. And AJ Styles is getting well frustrated on the outside there. Oh, he wants to tag, but a massive spear by the Big Show. He's not even the legal man, but he's slipping out as if nothing's happened and now Punk needs the tag more than ever Styles is inches away can CM Punk make the tag to Styles he's so close but oh wait a minute what the what what the hell is this it's, it's for the tag oh you son of a bitch I'm sorry I'm sorry for swearing like that but why the hell did He's just leaving. He's just hightailing out of here for God's sake. And the jackknife powerbomb. He just left CM Punk. Hung him out to dry. And here we go. We Still your tag team champions. Look at that bastard. Run away with his damn briefcase. He never wanted the NLW tag team titles here tonight. He just wanted to screw CM Punk. And screw him he did. He just left him to face the onslaught of Kevin Nash and the Big Show. He never wanted the tag. He never wanted to tag in. He just wanted to see CM Punk get pummeled before their match was sacrificed. And that's exactly what happened. Look at him jump off the apron and feed CM Punk to the wolves. That's basically what happened. He got caught up by Kevin Nash and then the jackknife powerbomb put him away. And he's still holding his back. He took... He took about 70% of the punishment in this matchup maybe I'm being generous because AJ Styles just left him to get picked apart and CM Punk has lost well and I look at AJ Styles running away like a coward and now he's, he's actually leaving the arena he's not even waiting in the backstage to talk to CM Punk or face him like a man he's literally got up took in his briefcase and just left Kevin Nash and the Big Show put on another dominant display but CM Punk is left alone and I'm sure that he wants to get his hands on Styles at Sacrifice even more and while speaking of getting their hands on each other Sting is our world champion but he is going to have his first match as world champion when he takes on Randy Orton. It's tonight's main event, and that is coming up right up next.